The Humblebee by Ralph Waldo Emerson, read for LibriVox.org by Alan Davis Drake. Burly, dozing bumblebee, where thou art is climb for me. Let them sail for Puerto Rico, far off heats through seas to seek. I will follow thee alone, thou animated torrid zone, zigzag steerer, desert cheerer. Let me chase thy waving lines. Keep me nearer, me thy hearer, Singing over shrubs and vines. Insect lover of the sun, Joy of thy dominion, Sailor of the atmosphere, Swimmer through the waves of air, Voyager of light and noon, Epicurean of June, Wait, I prithee, till I come Within earshot of thy hum, All without its martyrdom. When the south wind, as May days, with a net of shining haze, silvers the horizon wall, and with softness touching all, tints the human countenance with a color of romance, and infusing subtle heats, turns the sod to violets. Thou, in sunny solitudes, rover of the underwoods, the green silence dost displace with thy mellow breezy bass. Hot midsummer's petted crone, sweet to me, thy drowsy tone tells of countless sunny hours, long days, and solid banks of flowers, of gulfs of sweetness without bound in Indian wilderness found, of Syrian peace, immortal leisure, firmest cheer, the bird-like pleasure. Aught unsavory or unclean hath my insect never seen. But violets and bilberry bells, Maple sap and daffodils, Grass with green flag half-mast high, Suckery to match the sky, Columbine with horn of honey, Scented fern and agrimony, Clover, catchfly, Adler's tongue and briar roses Dwelt among. All beside was unknown waste, All was picture as he passed. Wiser far than human seer, Yellow-breeched philosopher, Seeing only what is fair, Sipping only what is sweet, Thou dost mock at fate and care, Leave the chaff and take the wheat. When the fierce north-eastern blast Cools sea and land so far and fast, Thou already slumberest deep, Woe and want thou canst outsleep. Want and woe, which torture us, thy sleep makes ridiculous. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.